Okay, so we've downloaded and installed Google SketchUp. Look in the left sidebar for the word products and click that link. Several items open under products, so find the link to 3D Warehouse. You'll actually want to come back to this page and read everything and follow the resource links and download the guide, uh, but for now we're going to continue with this activity and click 3D Warehouse. There's already a large and growing 3D community and people are working on projects to model entire cities and so on. Today we're go going to search for the museum's collection. These little round buttons are the mutually exclusive kind. They're called radio buttons. Select the one labeled collections and click search. You see here we have 12 results, but the one with 100, 134 models that's simply titled Museums is the one we're after today. I'll have to scroll down to see the results, but there's also a very useful filter for the results. Here if you know the name of the museum or the city it's in, or perhaps uh, a type of museum like Natural History Museum, you can refine your results. Simply type any word of your choice and press Filter Results. Now if I want to download the Rakes Museum, I click its name and I arrive at a page that shows its 3D model and allows me to view a map. When you press the Download Model button, you get several choices. We installed SketchUp 6, so that's the one you should choose. Then we can just open the file from the file menu of SketchUp. And we're back on task. So I navigate to my desktop and there's the file. Let's open it at long last. We even get a preview at the side. And here we are. It starts off with a pencil tool. You can change the tools anywhere on the toolbar. Click an object to select it. Click empty space to deselect it. The tools, of course, have tool tips that tell you what they do. You'll want to find the orbit tool. In addition to being lots of fun, the orbit tool helps you view your model most efficiently. You just click and then drag it and it's just like flying around the object in a helicopter. For the rest of this activity we're going to import objects. Uh, most of this is going to be done from the file menu. If you look at the files of type combo box in the open dialog you'll see the many different types of images that you can add. All the standard ones are there, as well as uh, 3D files from AutoCAD and uh, other 3D programs. But all that we're going to set aside for the next video in the activity.